Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Django application on Render for 100% free, and that too in just a few simple steps. So let's begin. So first of all, head to the official Render's website, which is render.com, and then you have to create an account for Render. So creating an account, you can head to Get Started, and you can create your account with any kind of social also, like the GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or Google as well. So I'll just create an account, and then we can move forward. All right, so I've created the account and this is the dashboard of Render. So we can start deploying our web app application using Render. And one more thing that it does not require any kind of billing. So this is totally free for lifetime. So let's begin. So we can head up to the web service section. Now we also, uh, we will deploy a web service here using this functionality. And then we can select the repository right here. So if you do not have linked GitHub account with your Render account, so for that, if uh, a button will appear right here, which will say sync with GitHub or something like login with GitHub, and that will authorize and authenticate your GitHub account on this browser itself. So perfect. So after you have configured your GitHub, you will see uh, your current repositories right here. So I have uh, two repositories here. So I'll just select the Django repository here and I'll click on connect now. So this will set a basic configuration for the repository. Uh, so first of all, you can select the name for a repository uh, for the project, which is test Django for us or anything you want. Then the language which is Python, obviously, and the branch for the Git repo code, which is the, in the present, the main branch right here. And then we have the region. You can select any region that is close to you. I'll just select Oregon. And then we have the root directory. This is the folder in its, inside of Git repository where the project is present for me it is present in the root itself so i'll just keep it empty and then we have the build command the, the build command will run while initializing your app so if you want to run static collection or if you want to run any kind of other commands you can run that here itself so if you want to if you're running pip install hyphen requirements or txt which is a prerequisite for some somebody hosting an application then you can also run other commands like python manage.py collect static after this by running by typing something like double ampersand and then you can run python manage.py collect static and since we do not have uh, we do not have the functionality to give an input to this command line so we'll just uh right type in the no input flag here all right so you can run this command uh, if you want to collect the static files itself, but I do not have currently any static files inside my Django project, so I'll just skip this part. All right, so now we have the start command. This command will be run after your build has been completed. So we'll, uh, you can either run it using Gunicon, or I can also run it using Python simple uh, function, which is Python manage.py run server. And then one more thing that you need to run this application on the port. 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and port 8000 because we need to uh, let render access to all hosts inside our application. All right, so now for this, we can the instance type, we can just select the free instance because this is lifetime free. And then we can uh, set the environment variables. You can also send the environment variables from the .env file. And uh, I do not have any environment variables, so I'll just skip this part. And for the advanced section, you can also uh, just leave this for now and now we can deploy the web service by clicking on this button all right so the process has started and it will take some time to deploy the application uh, first of all it's it will install the requirements using pimp install hyphen r requirements.txt and then it will run your build command then after that will it will just start the command which is with your start command using the python manage.py run server and then it will grab a port which is open in our case it will be the 8000 port and then it will handle the reverse proxy and just redirect it to this website present right here this is where our application will get hosted eventually so let's just wait for this to deploy and then we'll see uh, if the website works or not all right so as you can see our service is now labeled as live so we'll just walk through the logs and we'll see that all the steps has been followed in the sequence. Now our service is live on this link, this URL. So we'll just head up to this URL and see 
file application is deployed or not. So we can see this is a sample Django project, which, which was exactly our Django application for this project. Perfect. So we have successfully deployed our Django application on render for 100% free. All right. So one more thing that you need to update your settings.py inside the Django application to, uh, uh, to add this website to the allowed hosts variable inside your file. So if I head to the settings.py, I have currently enabled all the hosts for this. But if you want to enable this host itself, you, you can uh, copy this URL and paste it right here inside your allowed hosts, which will allow this Django application to, to be deployed on this uh, render instance. So perfect. That's how we can deploy a Django application on render 400% free. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.